Hi, my name is Victor and I'll be showing you my nearest guy um, project code inside of it. So this is the actual device itself. Um, in here you have an electrode, uh, the single electrode that goes into your forehead, and in here you have the reference point that goes into your elbow. Um, the device is already connected to the, to the computer, so we have a faster connection. Um, so if we plug that in, like this, connect to the elbow, we need to ensure that this is touching our forehead, and then we can proceed to the following step. So in here, I have a boilerplate code where I'm importing a time, um, the nearest car library, and we also have the initialization code, so the constructors. So what we need to do is to connect the data, um, connect it uh, to into the processor so that the data uh, passes through to the next one. This is done in a reactive code. Um, with what that mean? With that mean, uh, they are using obs uh, observables and RX uh, PY library to connect all the thread um, and make all the connection uh, threaded. Um, so the easiest way to do this is to to invoke um, the data, and then subscribe to that. In here, we can um, have a higher order function. In this case, I just want to print the values. I can just do print and then we can run the code and we should hopefully see a connection. The device is already connected to the laptop so all we need is just the connector. As you can see it's working fine. Um, we can just stop that and that cuts off the connection. So in in this case here I don't want to I don't want to visualize the raw data. I want to pass that to the processor where it produces the FFT data. So the processor function called um, processor.add data. And then here I can pass in the data that was just printed. Since the device um, since the functions itself are high order, if I put that into the print place, that automatically pass passes the data over to the print, uh, processor. And then I can just subscribe to the processor um, Processor data point, and then do the same thing as I did previously, and pr um, print. So if we run that again, we should now see um, arrays of data as the fast view transform of that has been calculated. As you can see, it's slower, but this is because it's doing it 250 times, and I'll put in um, the first 50 of them, the the values, which is the first. Uh, frequencies, first 50 frequencies. Um, in this case you can just pass in the data. Uh, during an application itself you must ensure that you close it. So we sure uh, we need to have processor.close and we have uh, connector.close as well to ensure that that closes the data correctly. That's, that's This is where the time.sleep comes in because it's an um, asynchronous function therefore asynchronous code therefore we need to have some sort of sleep before we can implement a closure otherwise it just um, requests the information and closes automatically you don't see any information and in this case if you write that we can see um, you run the code for 10 seconds bring in the output and then close the connection right after that. 10 seconds goes past. You can see connection being closed. Um, that's now moving to the uh, application side of it. So this is the application. It's somewhat long of a code, therefore I'm not gonna go into depth of it. But, um, so if we run the application, we'll then be able to see um, the GUI in here we have the raw data, we have the power level signals, and we have also the rating uh, sampling rate. The poor signal level is must always be zero. So if I remove this from my forehead, you should see that the poor level changes. If I unplug this from my earlobe, 
that goes to 200, 200 it just means there is no connection as you can see no frequency was calculated nothing so if I plug that back in you can start to see again the data being calculated properly and this shows the raw data and this shows the frequency data calculated from the FFT as you can see it cuts off somewhere around 1 hertz and it also cuts off 50 hertz this was intentional so that we don't overpopulate the data and the resolution size of this specific one is two steps so every two hertz um, a new data point can be calculated and in this section here we have the training uh, part the training part had to be um, excluded from this demo because the training data um, had to be the trainer had to be changed during the development um, and res uh, result of the testing phase um, but yeah this is it so thank you